Hey, hey, what's happening, folks? Welcome back to Raspberry Pi tutorial part 11. And today we're going to be setting up our little Pi as a web server. So stick around. All right, I'm going to try to go through this one pretty quickly since we have a lot of stuff to cover. And we're going to be installing the NGINX web server plus PHP. And if you want to, this is optional, but Perl CGI support as well. Uh, I did some reading about which server is best for the Pi's limited resources, and I finally settled on NGINX. I also considered Light TPD, Monkey, and Apache, but NGINX seemed to have the best balance of speed and memory usage. So, all right, let's get started. First off, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff as root. So instead of typing sudo every time I need to run a command, I'm just going to enter sudo's interactive mode. So let's do that sudo i. And now we need to install our NGINX server package along with PHP and the optional Perl as well so let's get the source info so let's do that now apt get update and i'm going to fast forward here so you can just pause the video until the update is finished all right and now we need to install uh each of the packages so let's apt get install and then there's nginx and then we need to do our php packages as well php 5-fpm and then php 5-cgi php 5-cli php 5-common and also this is optional but lib fcgi perl and i'm also going to fast forward through this part so you may want to pause the video right now here until the install is done And once all of these packages are complete, we need to edit a few config files. But before we can do that, let's make sure that NGINX is working for us. So let's start the service up. So service NGINX and start. And let's find out what our IP address is for the Pi. Let's check that if config. All right, my Pi is running on 192.168.0.210 so let's pass that IP address to the browser all right let's reload and here we go nginx is running now we need to edit our default configuration file for nginx to make sure that php files will run so let's cd into that config directory so cd slash etsy slash nginx slash sites dash available and we're going to edit the default file so pico and then default and i'm going to go down towards the bottom of the file and find the php section all right here it is so we need to uncomment these lines and just leave these two lines commented here because we're using php 5 fpm uh, let's also uncomment this section which prevents people from browsing your .ht access files Okay, now let's go back up and see what else we need to do. Let's see here. Oops, where am I going? Okay, here it is. Here's what I'm looking for. Uh, we need to be able to make a PHP file load as our default index page. So let's add index.php here. And if you do want to use Perl, add index.cgi or index.pl here as well. And you can also see here that the server root directory where we're going to put all of our HTML, PHP, and Perl files is in slash user slash share slash nginx slash www. So let's save this and exit. So control X. Yes. And let's start nginx so I can uh, pick up the changes we just made. So service nginx and restart. Now that we have PHP set up, let's test it. So we're going to create an index.php file in our www directory. So let's go into it now. So cd slash user slash share slash nginx slash www. Now let's pico index.php. And I'm just copying and pasting this in. Um, I'll have all these commands and the text and stuff available on my website for you to copy and paste as well. Uh, just check the links and the info below the video. Okay, I'm just going to add one more line here. 
And let's save this, control X, say Y for yes, and let's test it in our browser. Okay, so that works. Now, let's make sure that it also works as our default page. So let's delete the index.php, and yes, it does, cool. All right, now, uh, if you don't need Perl, congratulations, you are done. But I use Perl quite a bit, uh, so I'm going to set it up now. Let's go back to that default config file. So cd slash etsy slash nginx. Okay, let's go into sites available. And let's edit default. So pico default. All right. So let's see, where do I want to put this? Let's just put our Perl stuff right underneath the PHP section that we edited before. And let's kind of clean this up a little bit so it's a little more readable. All right, now let's control X to save. And before we can restart NGINX, uh, we're going to need a fast CGI wrapper script for Perl. And I'm grabbing a couple of files from the uh, nginxlibrary.com. So let's just paste these in. So wget all that stuff, dash zero, and then save it into user bin. And then we've got wget, da 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 da, da and let's save it into Etsy, in it did Perl dash fcgi. All right, now that we have the service scripts, let's make them executable. So chmod plus x slash user slash bin fast cgi wrapper dot pl, and then also chmod plus x slash Etsy slash in it d slash Perl dash FCGI. All right, now let's set up our service. So update dash RC dot D, Perl dash FCGI, and then defaults, and then let's uh, inserve Perl dash FCGI. Now we can restart NGINX and our new Perl service. So service NGINX start or restart, either one, and then uh, service Perl dash FCGI and start. All right, now it's time to test it out. So let's go back to our web root directory. So cd slash user slash share slash nginx slash www. And let's create a Perl CGI script called index.cgi. So pico index.cgi. And the script that I'm pasting in will just show us all of our Perl environment variables in the browser. And let's save it, control X. Now, unlike PHP and HTML files, which should have permissions of 644, Perl scripts need to be executable with 755 permissions. So let's give our new index.cgi file executable permission. So chmod 755 index.cgi. Now we should be done. So let's test it out in our browser and make sure everything works. All right, that looks good. And keep in mind, these index files will load in the priority that they're listed in the default config file. So if you want the index.cgi to load by default, you would have to delete the index.php. And that is pretty much it, guys. You now have a nice little web server that can run PHP and Perl. So have fun, and as always, thank you for watching.